Support for Doug Ford is at an all-time low, and for the first time in Ontario history, all three parties are polling fairly evenly. And while, yes, the Conservatives are still ahead of the Liberals and the NDP, it looks like the Liberals might actually have a shot at retaking power. Why not the NDP? Let's take a look. If an election were held today, 33% of voters would vote Conservative, with 27% voting for the Liberals and the NDP. And while the 338 simulator hasn't been updated in a while, this is roughly what the seat count would look like. And it should be noted that the lowest you can get the Conservatives to in this simulation is 37.7%, so if you were to bring them down to 33%, you would probably see either the NDP or the Liberals take first place. This has to do with voting efficiency. But there's a reason why it would most likely be the Liberals and not the NDP. Because once you start to factor in who the leader of the Liberal Party is, you start to see a trend. No matter who you pick as the leader of the Liberals, it does not change the voting outcome for the Conservative Party. But if Bonnie Crombie was leading the Liberals, she would have the most support at 29%, stealing a large portion of votes from the NDP. One in five NDP voters would switch to Liberal if Bonnie Crombie was the leader. And these are most likely not traditional NDP supporters. These are most likely people who used to vote Liberal and then parked their votes for the NDP when they didn't want to vote for Ford. And once you throw the Crombie numbers into the simulator, you start to see a picture. Now, for many on the left, Crombie might not seem like the best option, especially considering that she has taken money from developers. But in an anybody but Ford scenario, Crombie is the person who you might want to be cheering for right now. Because Canadian politics. 